none other than the legend, Nestor Cortez on the fan. What's, What's up, up Keith? How are you? <laughs> I'm great. You know how long I've been trying to get you to pull up and join me <laughs> on know, the fan, bro. You're the man. You're the man. Long overdue. I, I I can't do anything but give it up to you because I've I've watched you. And, uh, you know, I think I even told you one of my homies is from the 305 area. My guy, my guy Caesar. So he he's told me a lot about, you know, playing baseball out there and where, where you come from. And he's a fan of you as well. So, uh for me to see what you've done and how far you've come and you being an all, an all-star this year, like just share with everybody what the journey has been like and how good it feels no matter what. Nobody can ever take that away from you. You are a 2022 MLB All-Star. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been long in the works, man. Um, obviously, I think everybody knows by now the struggles I've been through and, you know, all the ups and downs that I've had, but um, stuck it through. Uh, you know, never gave up on my chance. And luckily I was able to get a third chance with the New York Yankees again. So uh, obviously very grateful for that. I was, I'm grateful for the opportunity that, you know, the Baltimore Orioles and the Seattle Mariners gave me uh, to live out my dream. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, finally it happened last year, 2021. Um, I was able to, you know, contribute to the team and, and obviously build a, a nice thing here with the with the Yankee fans. And the fans love you. And that's why I say all I can do is give it up. I'm a fan first, and we're on the fan, and there's a bunch of Yankees fans listening. Uh, we show up with mustaches on. We show up and I've we chant Nasty Nestor. <laughs> and you are already like a cult favorite no matter what, bro, no matter what, bro. And I know sometimes I'll be texting you like, yo, come on, and, and you'll tell me, you know, I want to have a good start. And I told you, yo, it doesn't matter what your starts are like. The respect that we have for you is different than – other guys because we know your story we know how far you've come and we're just proud of you you're one of our own thank you man i appreciate the love for real so let's talk about baseball a little bit a little bit right uh the conversation that we've had around you and i don't mind asking you because you're a real one right you've been in the bullpen before i remember when we were talking about chad nestor what we called chad nestor was chad green opening and then you taking the ball and, and yeah. finishing what, what he started. Um, you're a starter. You're an all-star starter. But the conversation has been, what if Nestor goes back to the bullpen? What I've been saying, and I don't want to speak for you, what I've been saying is Nestor has done it before, and he's a competitor, and he's the type of guy that wants to win. And I, I, I hear your post games, and you say it's about getting the win and what's best for the team. So if you did see a role change where you were coming out of the bullpen, how would you approach that? No doubt, no doubt. I, you know, I, and like you said, I've, I've been there before. Uh, you know, I kind of know what it takes. Um, and and like I said, I, I, I continue to say, you know, whatever the role is, as long as I'm up here, as long as I'm helping out the team, uh, that's the biggest. That's the biggest flex for me, to be honest. Um, I don't do anything. I, I don't. I don't have the team out if I'm being selfish. You know, wanting to start knowing that you know uh, there might be other options or. Uh, there could be better scenarios for me out of the pen. So um, I'm always down to do whatever, man, as long as, like I said, as long as it's helping the team. And, and I'm, I'm here for all that, honestly. Yeah, and we know it, bro. That's why we root for you. That's why we respect you. You're, you're one of us. You're a regular dude that has made it on the New York Yankees and made it to be an all-star. Uh, let's talk a little things, you know, not baseball, but in baseball. So we've been able to see you more through the social media, you being mic'd up. And uh, it was hilarious to, to just see you with the gum and even seeing you with your sunglasses and your bucket hat. Like, you just chill. Even before that, like, Nestor's Apple became a thing. There was a Twitter account about Nestor's Apple. Like, you just seem like a regular guy having a good time. Uh, tell us, like, how you're so loose, how you stay so loose playing for the best team in baseball, um, the biggest franchise in sports. You seem to just be always hanging out, having a good time. Yeah, I think it all goes back to, you know, knowing the struggles that I had and how, how hard it was for me to actually be up here, um, you know, kind of permanently. Obviously, the job is, is never secured. You always got to you always got to go out there every day and, and prove that you you belong here. But um, I tried to enjoy myself. And it's, it's just the way that I was in the minor leagues coming up to the system. Uh, you know, for people, people that, that, that don't know, I, I've, I had a lot of success in the minor leagues. And I was basically, you know, having that success being myself, um, you know, I kind of got up here and wanted to be this persona that I wasn't, um, 
you know, trying to fit in, trying to see where I fit in. And it wasn't easy. Uh, and obviously, you know, I got to give all the credit to my teammates and the coaches and, you know, the organization in general uh, for allowing for allowing me to be that way. Um, obviously, I know I'm not, you know, crazy where, you know, I'm disrespecting the game or disrespecting my teammates, but uh, I like to keep it, I like to keep it loose and I like to, you know, enjoy myself while I'm out there because you never know when it's the last time. And obviously, you know, with the, with the route that I've taken, it hasn't been easy. So I, I'm, I'm definitely trying to, try to soak that all in. Yeah, I saw you were just in, enjoying the bubble gum. Like you, you said, you have too many gums during the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell us a little bit about being in New York. Now, it's, it's way different up here than it is down there in South Florida. But you seem to be out and about. I remember seeing some about you taking the train, and I feel like I always see pictures of fans that catch you in different places, and they're like, "Yo, I ran into the goat, Nestor Cortez." Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's been crazy, honestly. Uh, you know, even on the off days when I go kind of shopping with my girl, and you know, we go to different restaurants and stuff like that. Uh, people recognizing me. Uh, for example, today I went to the mall, you know, just trying to buy some stuff, and you know, got little kids running up to me and asking for my autograph. <laughs> Uh, they got balls like in their bag. I don't know how they, have, they, they bring a ball to the mall, but um, they caught me off guard. I was I was I was at a store, and um, it was it was just pretty cool to to you know it's it's cool to to to, to feel that way and and have people following following your career and uh, obviously admiring what I do. So I appreciate the love from all fans. To be honest, every time. Yeah, you got kids in New York walking around with baseballs, hoping they find you on an off day so you can <laughs> sign them. That's what I'm saying, man. The love that Yankees fans have for you, it goes beyond any performance once a week. It goes beyond any numbers, any metrics. Like, you have done it. You are a guy that we saw coming up, and you've made yourself an all-star, and that's forever. That's forever. So let's talk about the all-star game real quick before I let you go. Going out to L.A., you know, you are you were in the video, the promo video. You were the guy on the mound for the promo video for the All-Star game. I can't wait to see you pitch out there. I'll be out there. I'm definitely copping that 65 Cortez All-Star jersey. <laughs> What's the number one thing you're looking forward to going out to Hollywood, going out to L.A. Uh, this upcoming weekend in the next couple of days? Honestly, man, it's, just, it's kind of surreal still, you know, to think about what's happening uh, and what's going to happen the next week, but... Um, I remember, I just remember growing up watching, you know, every All-Star game, obviously every season. You know, I was a huge Marlins fan growing up. Um, and it's, it's just crazy to think that I'm going to participate in one of those events. You know what I mean? And, you know, when I heard, when I heard that Miguel Cabrera and Albert Pujols were going to join, yeah. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, when, when I, when I, I, you know, since I can remember watching baseball, they've been, they've been playing baseball, you know, in the major league level. So, yeah. For me, it's it's kind of incredible to to be able to share that field with them, you know, whether it's their last time or not. But uh, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna have the opportunity to be with there with them, and you know, hopefully interact. And and it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, you get to suit up with your idols. You get to be in the dugout with Miguel Cabrera. You get to be on the field with Albert Pujols. Like that's crazy just to think about in itself. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I, I like I said, I can't believe it still. <laughs> hey, believe it. You're an all-star. You're one of us. You're a New York Yankee. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Nestor Cortez, I'm not going to keep him any longer. He popped in as a surprise guest, doing me a solid, and I appreciate it. No, thank you, Keith. I know, like I said, this this was long overdue, and you're a great guy, man. I, I listen to your show a lot when I come back from the stadium, so I know you you, you mean well, and, and, and you do a lot of good things, man. So I'm 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 really appreciative of this. Solid. I'll see you out in L.A., bro. Thank you for joining me tonight. For sure, Keith. Take care, man. Woo! Nestor Cortez on the fan. We got to throw to the update. I got to take a walk and think about my life. I'll be right back. <laughs>